Free Max P. Be on the pines, so it's nice. <laughs> so today I'll be interviewing this young fashion designer, originally from originally from Ajax. Well, a group in Scarborough, then moved to Ajax, then moved back, then moved to Texas, then moved to New York, then now back in Toronto. So it's pretty dope. Yes, on the come up. Uh, the brand's called Beyond Space. You guys already know that. So the first question: How did you get started with this brand? Um, that's a crazy question. Um, I actually started in one of my high school French classes uh, with a teacher called Mr. Mancera. And I'm keeping a Mr. there because he's a, he's a Mr. Salute to, to Mancera. Uh, the big dog. <laughs> but it was just, it was just uh, speculating on history and how everything sort of connects itself through a lineage of stories, you know, and like... You know, thinking about like ancient civilizations and how they sort of came to their inventions and looking at how we study space and how we actually like voyage out from our actual realm of Earth. It just made me think like, you know, like what would be up, what would be beyond that? Like, you know, there's always layers. Question, where do you see yourself in the, the next couple of years? Um, honestly, right now I really see myself like growing the brand a little bit more where I'm able to travel extensively throughout, you know, Europe or, you know, Asia, Africa. Um, I want to start, you know, preparing for opening a store, um, doing more pop shops, um, you know, inspiring more people, inspiring myself, learning more. What are your greatest achievements of Beyond Space so far? <laughs> I think one of the greatest achievements is actually having the ability to continue now. You know what I mean? Like, there's always gonna be the the down the down times, but once I'm able to sort of overcome those, it's always great to still continue. You know? So. All right. I appreciate your time. Thank you for the interview. Thank you. All right. We are out. <laughs>